Good evening all, Mike from Briar Blues here. I'm sure that the header and the thumbnail is what caught your attention, and no, what you're thinking is not what we're going to talk about today. Before I get into the topic, let's do our pipe check, and I am enjoying my Costello Collection 1K Bent Billiard. Today is a dual-fold topic on pipe size or does size really matter and I'm going to split it into two sections one being pipe size in comparison to a person's vertical um, challenges or advantages and the second portion will be on what is a flake pipe and does size really matter and to begin with Old school, uh, when you went to a tobacconist or a retail store to buy a pipe, they would look at you and if you were a tall, heavy person, they would try and recommend that you get a large pipe. And if you were someone diminutive like me, they would try and get you to buy a small pipe, thinking that a small pipe would suit you better than a large pipe. And if you are a tall gentleman or a lady, a small pipe would not look appropriate. And I'm here to say that's not true. When you're selecting a pipe, you select something that you like. If you like small nose warmers, or if you like large pipes, it's what you're comfortable with. If you're a hand holder, then it's fine. If you're a small person like me, enjoying a pipe this size, hanging it in your mouth and relaxing, or just holding it in your hand and gently popping as you're reading or watching television or whatever you may be doing. And if you're a large person and you tend to drive a lot or don't have a large, long time for a smoke, then there's nothing wrong with owning a small pipe. It's totally up to you. Don't let anyone direct you towards large pipes because you're large or small pipes because you're small. You select the pipes that you feel suit you the best and you enjoy the best. And if you want to know if a pipe suits you, then I'm going to tell you a story about a certain American pipe carver that uh, went out for lunch one day, pipe in his mouth, puffing away, making billowing clouds as he walked into a restaurant. This is in the era when you were allowed to smoke in restaurants. And the hostess asked him if he would like smoking or non-smoking. The pipe suited his style and his face so much that she did not even notice that he was smoking. So take that into consideration. Um, it's like buying glasses. Look at the pipe, hold it up, feel it, and go from there. The next thing is, what is a flake pipe? And Quite honestly, there's no such thing as a quote, quote, flake pipe. It, it really boils down to how you prepare your tobacco. If you are doing a break or a fold, then going to a small bowl pipe, or if you're smoking a quite strong flake or a plug or a rope, then maybe a small pipe is the way you want to go. If you rub the tobacco to its ribbon strand texture and you load a pipe that way, then there's nothing wrong or nothing saying that you can't smoke a Virginia Flake or a Latakia Flake in a tall, large bull pipe or even a wide mouth pot. It, it's how you prepare the tobacco that is a deciding factor on how the pipe is going to smoke. Not that it's a flake, or not that it's a, a ribbon cut, or not that it's a cube cut. It's how you prepare and how you pack the bowl. So please don't call a pipe a flake pipe. 
it's there's no such thing as a flag pipe and uh, with that I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments on pe people that totally disagree with me on the, su the subject but that's what the comment section is for so if you did enjoy this if you enjoyed the thumbnail and you thought it was humorous uh, please subscribe and hit the uh, bell button to uh, be notified when we send out more content. I thank you for watching and I wish you all a pleasant evening. Take care all.